the second I, I press record, someone texts me. So we were just talking about Jess Allen. Jess! Hi! <laughs> and we because, were saying bad things about you. I'm just kidding. Yeah, terrible, terrible things. She commented on my um, Instagram stuff, so I was like, I love Jess. She's so awesome. Jess, actually, we were talking about you because your last blog post with that cool Reebok stuff and the, your rear view, no, no offense, but it was really looking good. Yeah. I thought someone was throwing up in there. <laughs> Didn't that sound, it sounded like it for a second. Um, oh yeah, so we did the wad today, and we did air squats, and we chest. jumped like little. It was it was funny. We we were literally just like they were like put your hands up above like stars and jump. So that's what we did. Really? We jumped. Yeah, we jumped. We did seven air squats, fifteen jumps, as many rounds as possible, and yeah, that was interesting. That was the whole for like seven minutes or five minutes. It was a five minute AMRAP. It was pretty simple, but a lot of people... Hey, sometimes simple's good, right? Yeah, but a lot of people were um, really scared. Like yesterday, last night, um, they were like, yeah, we're like, I guess we're doing this CrossFit workout tomorrow, but I don't know if I'm gonna go, I'm really scared. Like, See, everybody's... And I was like, mm-mm, don't, don't be scared because it's, it literally is infinitely scalable. Like, I Ooh, don't say that it. slowly. Infinitely scalable. I didn't tell her to say that either. That's very good. I like that. Got my big words going on. That's like fitfluential is infinite, infinitely scalable. Fitfluential is infinitely scalable. New mantra. Uh, so what'd you have for breakfast? I had, ooh, I had this um, egg frittata thing. It had beans in it. I haven't been eating beans. Really? They were Me in either. there. Yeah. Um, Are you totally paleo? Have we talked about this or no? I'm pretty much paleo. Um, I'm still. Um, I've been like having the progenics way um, after every workout, which um, is paleo friendly, from what yeah. they told me. Yeah, it's paleo friendly. Like some paleo people do still. Um, you're so funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> a second ago, and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> um, some people do still do the whey protein, <laughs> like me. <laughs> do you know what Pee Wee Herman movie I'm talking? About? Wait, what? <laughs> Have you watched that? Pee Wee's Big Adventure. This is probably before you were born. Yeah, like, no. <laughs> I've probably was, seen it. I just don't remember. He was Pee Wee Herman was stuck in a bar. And he oh was, yes, I've seen Pee Wee. Herman. Remember? And they're like, I say we kill him. And then the other guy goes, I say we, you know, stab him and then we kill him. And Pee Wee's like, oh, I say we let him go. <laughs> Everyone's like, let him go. Or did they let him go? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Sorry. But um. <laughs> yeah, I still do the whey. I do the whey protein, but I'm doing pretty much mostly paleo, except for like high fat dairy sometimes. So I do put cream in my coffee sometimes, people. But that's what, uh, you it's know. still allowed. Mark Sisson does it yeah. every morning. He has cream in his coffee. Yeah, what's going to happen? The paleo police are going to come at me? I'm, like, <sighs> I'm sure they will on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's not paleo. Because I said so. <laughs> oh my. But yeah, I've been doing that. I really like the progenics. It's good. I'm seeing my triceps are coming out. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to oh, show wait. You. Oh, you can kind of see it. The shadow right there. Ooh. Ooh, it is. Ooh. Right? Yeah. Well. Yeah. I just can't wait to get rid of the rest of that. I'm feeling like that too, unfortunately. It takes a while. I mean, it takes in order time. to like really get rid of all of it. In order to build, it's it's difficult. In order to break down a mountain, you have to build one first. Oh, that's so inspiring. <laughs> I forgot to do the, the special up. effect. Do it again. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Do that again. That was good. <laughs> so we were downstairs while wow, we just keep talking. All the Reebok love is happening. But we were downstairs and we were talking to the Reebok people. And they have... um. Like, we do box jumps on boxes, obviously, but the ones that they brought have a little pink Pet. cushion on top oh, yeah. so that, like, you can sit on them. So the boxes... I want one for my house. My yeah, office. I told them that. The box is blue and white, and then the top is pink, and I was like, can I use this as an ottoman in my apartment? And I was dead serious. They thought I was joking. Well, I wasn't joking. Um, sorry. It's Misfit Online who's texting us. Carla! Hi, Hi Carla! Can't wait to meet you, Carla. Mwah. Um, this is you, Carla. Anyway. So she was um, in my session when I was talking, and she <laughs> took her shirt off. Just, I'm just kidding. She didn't. Somebody's gonna believe that. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yep. Guilty. What was so funny is that I got up there and like we went in late, 
and I had been drinking a lot of water and black coffee. I had to pee so bad, and it was the beginning of the session, and I'm sitting up there, you know, in the front of the room, and all I could do was go. I'm like, I texted Heather. I'm like, I have to pee so bad. It was so awful. And then I went to lunch. I don't know why I brought this up on this video. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know why either. <laughs> but you had your, she had her Altoids. I was like sitting near the back because I was the only seat left. And I look and I see Kelly. She's like, she's got her Altoids. She's like, like being really sneaky about it. She's like, it's under the table. She's yeah. Like, she's like, hey Theo, you want one? And they're like exchanging Altoids. It's very it's hard very for me sneaky. to sit still. It's very hard for me to sit to one. The whole time, like if someone was talking, Kelly would go like raising her hand. She'd be like, oh. <laughs> I still raise like, my hand. We don't hand. raise our hands if we're on the panel. Yeah, I do it all the time. I do it in restaurants. Like, I'm like, I'm sorry, can I? Oh, I do that. Do you? I'll probably do that tonight. I'll be like, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, at dinner? Dinner. There's a Chobani dinner tonight. There is. Be going, get some good food, some good company. You know. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. So, what are we going to do the rest of the day? We're going to do a couple sessions. Yeah, there are a couple cool sessions coming up. Um, I actually forgot what's going on. Um, there's one with Rachel Wilkerson. She's so gorgeous. She's gorgeous, and she's funny. I mean, I just saw her walk in, and I was like, she's, I mean, her picture's beautiful. And then I'm like, damn, I need to Photoshop myself to stand around you. Seriously. Seriously. She's got a head of hair, too. Yeah. I want to kill her. <laughs> no, we're just and kidding. she's so funny too. Like all of her posts, like if you start reading them, you'll just like keep going and going and going and just like pee yourself and keep going. I remember your first, your first, or I don't know if it was your first video, but the first one you did about being fitful and and you had your glasses on. Oh my god, that was in my dorm room. <laughs> and that you were was like, back in the day. It was so day. cute because she's like, "Holla, um, holla." Let me tell you, that, you know, I'm in my, I'm in my room, and here's my right there. That's my kitchen. And right there, that's my bedroom. <laughs> she remembers. And right there is my living room. And, and um, I was in a dorm room. It was she a one-room dorm room. So she's like, and then she, remember you were like, so I'm a fit financial ambassador. Holla! <laughs> Just adore so her. Gorgeous. She's like my daughter. Am I, are you, am I old enough to be your mom? I think Maybe I Maybe I can be your little sister. The cool little sister, not the annoying kind. <laughs> <laughs> You're never annoying. Okay. You're so adorable. I just love her. Although you make me look older. No. I'm just kidding. I think this could be the year for Botox for me. <laughs> I saw your tweet. You were like, driving around in Boston makes me want to need Botox. Yeah. Because I was, I was like, this. I was, I was still in, in New Boston. York in that time. Oh. Boston, driving, sucks. I'm just going to say it. And I then don't... Tina was like, driving in Boston really isn't that bad. And I was like, really? Tina, I'm going to have to talk to you about that. Let me tell you. Yes. There's a reason they have developed the term mass holes in, in Massachusetts. I didn't think It's that true. Up. Boston drivers are terrible. No yeah, but they to have to be because every, instead of making Boston, a, you, you know, when you when you come up to an intersection, it's not right or left. It's like, oh, get into this roundabout circle, and then you've got to like fight and get over seven lanes to to get to make a right, and then there's like seven rights in a in a roundabout. It's enough to make you need to like drink. I'm not going to say this. If somebody take me seriously. I'll say you should have drink a drive. Bring, yeah. Don't drink a drive. People take things too seriously. Like when I said that it's in the true. panel and I looked out and everyone was like, kind of a big deal. Taking notes like I was serious. And I, was, I was tweeting the whole time. Were you? Did you say good things about me? Yeah. I, tw I, I tagged you like four or five times. I haven't read them yet. I caught the good stuff. I like took the good words and I like even did the professional like dot, dot, dot if I took like two sections out of two different sentences, you know? Interesting. Yeah. Got lots of good retweets on that. Nice screensaver. Very it weird how it came on. Ew. Yeah, I think that's like a, what is that? A jellyfish? Yeah, the ugliest kind of jellyfish. Looks scary. Oh, that's a koala bear. That's cute. I like the koala bear. Ooh, and I'm also wearing, um, wow, more Reebok stuff. But seriously, I'm wearing this sports oh, bra. Oh, I love they gave their sports me. bras. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's just lightly padded, which is great because, full disclosure, I'm flat chested. I was born this way, okay, people? And so it makes me look better. And I could, and now I don't. And for those feel of us that have an abundance in that area, um, there's, there, there's like two or three kinds that I tried on. Yeah. Um, some of them I wouldn't wear to like do burpees and stuff. I didn't necessarily think that the support was as great as I wanted. Yeah. But the gray one that I have, which I'll probably wear tomorrow, um, I really was quite pleasantly surprised. Not to mention they make the girls look quite nice. 
Yeah, so I was like, I put it on, I was like, not only can we see my emerging six pack, I could probably just wear the sports bra when I'm working out and it gets really hot, just take off the tank top, wear my sports bra, full proof confidence. That's right. Oh. Proof. She was wearing her Fit Financial Proof shirt the other day. Oh, right? yes. We all, oh, yeah, I can't show you because we gave them away as prizes. Our uh, Fit Financial Proof shirts from Viewsport. So if you haven't checked out Viewsport. Viewsport is awesome. They're very active on Twitter. I like that. So it, I don't think many people realize this. Not only do you go to Viewsport and get cool shirts with cool sayings. Oh, my sayings. God, they have such cool CrossFit shirts. I want secret, all of them. Secret sayings come out when you sweat. So when you sweat, there's a secret word that comes out in the back. In our, in our case, we had it. Hashtag proof. Fifth lunchal, hashtag proof. So it, not until you sweat do you have your proof, which I think is fun and dorky for those of us that like it. Um, got to work you, for your sweat. That's right. Work for your proof. But there's other ones that you say, they say beast mode or whatever. Oh my but God, it's I love so those. cool. It is really so cool. I love the idea that you can be like doing whatever you're doing at, at a CrossFit box or the gym or running. And, and someone's, someone's like, running behind, Yeah, they're running behind you. And as you sweat, this message comes up. Like they should have one that says, if you can read this, you're too close to my ass. Oh, <laughs> you're way too close. If you can read this on my chest, you, you need to step back. <laughs> There's one that says, no one ever drowned in, in their sweat. own sweat. And then the thing on the back, I don't remember what it was, but I thought it was so clever. I wish I remembered. Go to their uh, website, viewsport.com. No, it's not US. .com. US. US. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I don't know why it's not .com. We're going to have to ask them about that. Okay, we're at 11 minutes. We should shut off now. You want to say goodbye to them? people now I look white don't I we look like I the look same so color white. we look like the same color right I don't now. have any bronzer on I usually put on bronzer and people are like oh my god you're so tan and I'm like really because it's all fake I need to use, use some bronzer wow I, I, get, I want to get so much flack for saying that but at least I don't go. At least I don't go to tanning beds I have people at least I just use bronzer makeup I go to a tanning bed a little bed. bit of glow and you know what that's fine I'm just don't I get more crap for, for going to a tanning bed, but I've been going tanning since I was this late. How old are you? Twelve. <laughs> Whatever. Twenty-two. She's, I don't oh, okay, know. I've been going tanning since I was nineteen. Okay. So, and people always go, "Don't you know when you're thirty, you're gonna look like you're 40? And I'm like, "Well, I'm forty-three, and most people." And she looks bomb. Um, thank you. It's all airbrushing. I just make sure that people only see me in certain light. <laughs> and they can never step too close. I'm like, don't step too close. Because I don't understand celebrities that let themselves get so airbrushed. I, w I would... Especially on magazines. Yeah. Have I you seen that Dove commercial about the airbrushing? Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Why? Well, I, I, I don't want... I would rather have people meet me. Like, I, I don't want to Photoshop my pictures or anything because I would rather have people meet me and go, wow, you know, you look just like your video or you look just like your picture instead of going, oh, oh. You know, like realtors that ha actually get their like their business card pictures are them like twenty years ago, and oh, then you wow. meet them in person, and it's like, ooh. My business card picture is my senior portrait from high school. Oh, yeah, I look like super this. adult. We yeah, like I'll this. show you. Oh no, it looks really cool actually. I got these awesome. Now we're going even over more time, but I got them through a clout perk at moo.com. and that's isn't that Honestly, cool? Honestly, now that I know you, I'm not giving out your phone number to everybody. What? Well, if I... Oh, oh yeah. your phone number's not on there. Oh, no. I was very smart about that. Um, I think you look older here than you do. People say that. Yeah. Okay. Ew, I was also a lot thinner in that picture, though. That might be why. Eat clean, sweat dirty! Chef and on that note... Com. And I'm not a chef. Just so everyone knows. I Full disclosure. I am a chef. Really? Oh, he Heather's yeah, texting yeah. me. Hold on. We gotta go. Hello, Heather. Uh, we gotta go. There's another session at HLS. Bye. See you later. Goodbye Love from you guys. Boston. Mwah.